Welcome back everyone to the Loan for Cards YouTube channel. We are playing Weed Shop 2. I almost said Drug Dealer Simulator, but this is Weed Shop 2. Yes, this game is about three years old and I decided to give this a whirl because hey, let's grow some weed. That's what I want. That's fun. And uh, to be honest, I have never played this game before. I watched maybe a couple times on some YouTube clips of people playing it. I know Josh OG, a Twitch streamer, streamed this game and he got, you know, they sponsored him and put him in the game and all that stuff. So I remember that back in the day, but I really didn't get to really touch this game until now. So this is a three-year-old game again, I mentioned. I bought this on Steam. It cost $9.99. Uh, it's pretty good value, I, I have to say. And I wanted to make a quick uh, basic tutorial of this game and how to maximize your profit on the early stages. A couple little tips and tricks for you guys that if you are, if you did play Weed Shop 2, that maybe you didn't get because I somehow figured out bug and exploits. What? Does that really happen? Yes, it does because I play this game pretty hard right off the rip. So I'm gonna let's get into it right away. So the first thing I want to show you guys is if you are playing this game and you don't know about this trick. And I didn't know until later on when I played it. I was playing the game. I'm like, yo, where is the pause button? How do I stop people to keep on coming in? I want to take a break. I want to press escape. And it's still going. Like, what's going on? Like, why is this happening? So I realized there's two game modes here. So if you go to your escape button, go to options, scroll down. There's game progress here. Game time and real time. What is the difference between real time and game time? The funny thing is that when you first play this game, it defaults you to real time. Meaning that if you're in this option screen or if, if you're in this escape screen, the game will still keep on going. You know, if you're going to the menus and everything else, the background will still keep on going. So let's see here. I'm going to water this real quick. As you can see, if you press escape, as you can see, it's still going. People are walking in the background and all that stuff. And if you go, if you switch it to game time, this will actually freeze everything. So everything from the background, from the game, and your plants is gonna stop. So this is your pause button. So this is your way to pause if you want to do game time. Now, you're trying to figure out what, why would do they have this option? And I think the I don't really have a direct answer. Of, I mean, of their answer, but I think I know the answer to this, is that when you are on real time, you can actually let the game run while you plant something. And while that's still going on, you can alt tab the game. And what's that gonna do is gonna freeze everything else. I alt tab right now, as you can see, the people in the background, all the AI is going to be frozen, but there's a trick. Your plants will keep on coming back. Your your plants will still time, the timer will still go down. So if you want to keep it in real time and you want to keep your plants growing, keep it on real time, all tab and do something else. Go on Discord, go on YouTube, do something else. And by the time you come back, it's going to be that time that you were away, it counts down to help you speed up the plant, which you don't have to worry about customers coming into your shop. So that's a one good advantage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it back out to game time. Let me get this guy real quick. Oh, later nerd. So he's gone. Okay, so, so this is the quick tips that I'm gonna show you of how to play this game. Um, obviously, if you if you already played, you know you went through the tutorial. And if you're watching this uh, watching this tutorial before you buy this game, um, when you go through the tutorial, it's going to be really forced, right? So it's going to tell you exactly what to do and how to get to this point. So this is the really beginning stages of the game and how to plant, how to put a pot there, how to buy the seeds. Um, we're going to buy some seeds. You're going to click on this. You click on this and you plant it. Then once you plant it, you want to water it to the max and just let it go. Okay. So that's how you plant the basics. Okay. So you should know how to do the basics. All right, so the thing I'm gonna show you here is uh, one of the more important things. On the upper left-hand corner, you see my money, $416, and then you'll see a safe of $500, okay? That's, the safe is what 
will hold all your money that cannot be stolen by thugs. So there are thugs in this game that will come into your shop and steal all the money above your safe uh, storage limit, right? So if I have $510, the thug will come in here and take my $10. So you can always upgrade your safe by going to this upgrade screen right here. And you can upgrade your safe cash storage, okay? And this won't be a level until 8. So you have a couple levels to get as much money as you can. And once you hit this level, I'm going to tell you it's a secret right here. Tips, bugs, exploit happen right now. Do not upgrade this. Do not waste $500 on this. You can keep it on the very basic at $500 storage space. And you can have tens and tens of thousands of dollars. Because there's a trick. When you first lay out your things. Okay. Hello, ladies. Uh, let me sell you this real quick. You get a balloon right off the rip, okay? So you want to put your put your register right up here. And then you want to place the balloon right here. This balloon here, even though you can walk through it, the AIs, like the thugs, cannot get to here to steal your money, okay? So this is a really good trick So for you to upgrade. Because when I played my first run through, I upgraded my save to six seven thousand dollars because i was i will i couldn't hold up with them because you can't beat up the thugs and they would just end up knocking you out and taking all your money so i was keep on upgrading and then once i started putting some balloons and some other things and i found out hey this one balloon can actually prevent them to go to your safe here to go inside so that's a good trick so you don't have to worry about upgrading um the next one is the one right below it the 44 marijuana that you have currently in stock and the 100 is your jars. So you can always upgrade your jars by the weed storage jar. So the more of this you have is the more weed you can harvest and have in your inventory. So you always want to upgrade this as much as you can so you can have a bunch of uh, weed in stock for you. So that's another thing. So um, also, you there are, there are thieves in the game that will come and steal your weed from you, okay? So this is early stages, the thugs and the thieves comes around level 7, level 8. And what you want to do is once you hit to that level, um, you want to get the short stick right away, okay? Um, you have to wait until level 12 to get a bum bastard, but um, I want to tell you this right now. This is really pointless. Stick with the short stick and hit the thieves if they steal from you. And you can once you hit them, you get all the, the weed back from them. Uh, when you get to level 20, which is down the line. This is a little bit better, but I would recommend to wait until you get to level 32 so you can knock out the thugs. Okay, so all you need is a short stick for now until maybe if you want to have enough money, you can buy the Steal the Pain at level 20. But try to avoid this because this is really, like, really pointless to use that. And this is really pointless too because you can't really knock out the thugs. But this and then this. So upgrade to level 32. So that's a long ways from now. So this is the basics, right? So... Now I'm going to show you the most profitable thing you can do at the beginning of the game is we're going to go to um, the shop and the seeds, okay? So you're going to end up with some Life is Good OG seeds that you get to plant to make some money, which is cool. When you hit level 3, okay? Level 3 will come by really pretty fast, okay? So once you get to level 3, you'll want to just sell Ghost Train Haze, okay? This is a level 3 seed. It only costs you $50 and you get 14 grams. Okay, you get 14 grams for $50. And that comes out to um, about $3.50 per gram, which gives you a profit of $11.42 a gram. Okay, so if you're very active using this, you can end up getting about $2,400 profit per pot. Okay, so that means each pot that you have, and you start off with three going to make $2,400 from each pot if you're active doing that. So this is really good to use in the, in the beginning stages because this is the best profit you can make. Once you hit level 11, you want to get the Death Star. This You need a level 2 pot as an advanced pot that you can buy from the store, which is right here. And it costs $300, which level 6 you can unlock. But you don't need to unlock this. You use this until you get to level 11 when you're going to be using the Death Star, okay? Death Star, um, I'll let you know that it's it's $8.18 per gram, okay? So it doesn't seem that much profit of only $6.81 per gram profit, okay? 
But the trick is that you're getting 33 grams and it only takes you three minutes, okay? It takes you three minutes. So if you're pretty active using that, it's gonna get you $4,500 profit per pot, okay? In an hour, okay? So this is gonna be your main go-to for the rest of the game until you hit the higher levels, until you unlock the bigger seeds, okay? Like the bigger seeds that you wanna get up to, like the Gorilla Glue, which is gonna be one of the best profit games once you hit level 30. So I would recommend just grinding it until level 30, uh, which is going to take a long, pretty long time. I mean, you can still go with the other ones like the Platinum OG or Green Crack when you hit the other levels because you don't want to keep on grinding it really hard. Um, but Death Star 3 minutes is really good. Again, you can just water it. You can even use um, you can use the pump if you don't want to water it like three times You know, within the harvest. Just buy the pump for $50 and you'll still make a good profit uh, and doing that way. So that's the really quick tips and tricks on that. And um, one other thing that I was going to make an, another exploit bug on this game that I found out is basically when you use your pots, they you can see the, the amount of times they can use. Like the basic pot, you can harvest 15 times. And once after the 15 times, it breaks. You can still use it and it breaks, but it's not going to hold as much harvest as it would and the water will leak a lot faster. So the trick is... Before you hit level 15, you want to inventory, take the inventory. So I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to harvest this real quick. You shouldn't do. So when you click on this and you hit this or letter C, you can take your pot back before you hit the 15th time and just place it back and it's going to reset it. Okay, so that's a bug in the game that you can do. So you never have to rebuy pots. But... The only bad thing is you gotta sort of remember how many times you do it. Okay, so if you forgot the count, and maybe you're like level t uh, like ten or eleven times, just reset it before you plant again. Just take it back and place it back, and then you'll reset it back to a fresh start. So that's a good trick on this game that can help you save a lot of pots. Because I destroyed so many pots, um, especially when you're buying um, when you're buying the pro pot that you need to grow the bigger ones. It costs nine hundred dollars a pot, right? And it only does it five times. And I destroyed so many of them. So for the fourth time, just take it back and redo it. Um, this $15,000 is sort of way not worth it. I mean, if you have like millions of dollars in your in your account, in your weed shop, then fine, spend $15,000. But for $900 to replace them every so often, it's fine, okay? So that's a good bug that I, I told you guys about. So again, when you're starting off this game, once you hit level 3, Go for the Ghost Train Haze, and once you upgrade that, go to the Death Star to level 11. And then once you get to uh, level 30, Gorilla Glue is the next big profit of that. So that's it for this. It's a quick, uh, hopefully it's a quick tutorial of how to play this game. Uh, might have been a little bit longer than I thought. But if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you comment down below and I'll respond back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you're watching this and you're like, what's up? What happened to the uh, drug dealer simulator guys? I'm still making videos on drug dealer simulator. Just switch it up a little bit uh, The update for drug dealer simulator is coming up soon guys the week growing on drug dealer simulator is coming through So if you want to get a get a head start and try to play the weed part of it Go buy a weed shop too and play it along. It'll give you a good time to kill until the next patch comes out which should be pretty soon so that's it. I hope you guys like this content. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, help me support this, help me get motivated to make more videos. I appreciate you guys all. Stay safe out there and see you guys next time. Peace out.